remember how I just showed y'all, or remember when I'm telling when I, when I tell y'all there's nothing outside of yourself, right? Nothing outside of yourself. So a lot of times people are praying to something outside of themselves. People are begging, people are wishing. In this wishing and hoping state, they're actually losing energy. You're losing energy to something that's not that's an outside entity. You feel me? That's not real. Real understanding in ancient times was they were commanding power into themselves but it wasn't but you know the the whole doctrine and the whole idea of it got watered down and then you get to this point of people praying to something outside of themselves but in the whole uh aspect of praying is the aspect of giving out your energy you don't want to do that family you want to command power you want to know that you're not asking nobody nothing or wishing for something who, you got to think about who are you praying this to? If you're God, then you got to understand that you're talking to yourself. And in talking to yourself, you're just commanding power. And talking to yourself, you're talking to your DNA. And it says our DNA is like a genie in a bottle, except they are genes in our body. Genes in our body connected to the unified field of the universe, your universe. They react to our thoughts to make our wishes a reality by attracting people, things, and experiences which we desire and think about the most. When you talk to yourself, is a key play into you uh, loving on yourself and you changing your vibration and you rewiring your brain. So how many people talk to themselves? Put a, put a uh, two in the chat if you talk to yourself on a daily. I'm talking about speaking with your voice. Okay, okay, good, okay, hey. That's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Now look, watch how, okay, we're going to get there. And now some of y'all inter <laughs> internally, of course, we're talking to ourselves all the time because we got this, you know, we got this inside language that we're constantly going through and communicate with ourselves. But outwardly, outwardly speaking to yourself is going to be a huge play in your being. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself, family. I can't make it up. This is a big play, family. I did a video on this a long time ago. You have to say, oh, dream, you are just such a powerful, beautiful being. Damn, nigga, why you look good? Damn, you're going to have a great day today, baby. You the flyest motherfucker in this bitch. You feel me? You have to do that. And I mean, you have to do it with just love and power and strength to yourself. I'm talking about chaos style. You have to be looking at yourself eye to eye, really getting in depth and in a trance of loving on yourself. This is important, family. This is one of them big things that's going to shift your consciousness and shift your reality because this is you claiming the God in you. This is you loving on yourself. This is you accepting yourself for who you are. Let's say you need, you know, let's say you need to do more mental alchemy, more love for self, all of that, right? That's when the audio auto suggestions come on board. And after you, and after a while, you enliven your spirit so much that you just naturally start talking to yourself in the mirror. Speaking with the voice, with the voice, with the voice into the mirror. This is called mirror magic. You looking at your eyes in the mirror, and you speaking love, power, strength into, into yourself. Put a one in the chat if y'all got that. Talk to yourself with your voice, not with your mind, with your voice. You got see, when you're trying to change the third dimension, you got to speak it so it can be here on the third dimension. And then it can actually take ground and take effect.